ladies and gentlemen and heroes of Valhalla, back despite disobeying Wotan, it's the most operatic band in the world. The Columbia University featuring Jay Siegmund and the Lions, Jay Siegland, Al Bagnoli, and Jay Hunding, Penn State. As well as the heroes going up to Valhalla, Valkyrie swooping down from the heavens, and Wagner at an all-time rolling over in his grave, the band now presents an all-star gala halftime salute to Ride of the Valkyries. show begins with the Lions, our unlucky heroes. The boys in blue have faced their share of misfortune over the past few years, and seeking a place of respite, they turn to where the tracks are always out and the sun is always shining, Philadelphia. And who should be there to greet them but head coach, Al Bagnoli. Over a hearty glass of me, the Lions share their tale of misfortune. The teams they played beat them down, dirtied their uniforms, broke their spirits, and deflated their balls. Al comforts the weeping Lions in their time of need and decides to abandon Penn. He admits that he never wanted to coach Penn. He loves Columbia. The Lions and Al elope, and after getting some snazzy new black uniforms, prepare themselves for their battle against the Hordes. In honor of seeking refuge in the arms of a stranger, the band now forms a cabin in the woods and plays, I hear you knocking, and you can come in. to help the Lions win the game and restore the Lions to honor. In return, we can only assume that Wotan has promised Wagner what they most desire, a campus in New York City. For years, Wagner has been exiled to Staten Island, or as it's known in Nordic mythology, Nilfheim. Nilfheim, of course, in common parlance, translates to the garbage land. But yikes! Another ref has brought out a rule book and discovered that conspiring to cheat out of sheer pity for the opposing team is, in fact, illegal. We're now close to entering our third quarter, and while victory is in sight, Al Bagnoli has fainted due to lack of Gatorade. The Lions are on their own to defend themselves. It looks like the end of the road. In honor of cliffhangers, the band now forms two opposing teams and plays Living on a Prayer.
to the battlefield, where the Lions, in true Columbia fashion, are stressed out, overwhelmed, and trying to stay afloat. Suddenly, just when it seems as though all was lost, the Lions secure a prime scoring position and vanquish the enemy. Wotan, the head referee, cries out in joy. His plan was a success. The Seahawks, all beautiful Viking women, swoop down from Wotan's perch and lift the heroic Lions and Albagnoli into Valhalla. There, they can party it up with other heroes, like Achilles, Oedipus, and the actual Seahawks. In honor of honor, the band now forms the Halls of Valhalla and plays All of the Lights. Who's going over there?